Greetings from the Sunshine State. So today I'm in the mood to do some balloon kisses. Uh, these are a few that I've done in the past. Um, of course, this was embellished with Posca pens after it dried. But first I did a pour and then uh, applied some balloon kisses. Uh, it was after it was dry and then I embellished it afterwards. And on this LP, I applied the balloon kisses while the paint was still wet. I did the pour and then I applied balloon kisses and then I embellished it when it was dry. And this one is a different one. I applied balloon kisses to a dry black background and then embellished with old Posca pens. So today I plan to apply dry balloon kisses to this pour that I did a while back. It needs something, but it is a pretty color. So I have a variety of balloons ready to go, variety of sizes. I use my bicycle pump to pump up the large ones. I have um, smaller ones filled with water. And I have really tiny ones. These are finger balloons. I think they're, they came with a resin kit. <laughs> I put some water in those too. And then um, for the center of flowers, you can use these sponges. So I decided to have those handy as well. Now my paints, I just took some leftover paints. Uh, they're just mixed with Floetrol, so they're on the they're on the thin side. They're not thick and they're not totally thin. Some of them are paint drippings that I am reusing. There's some paint drips, drippings in here and in here, mixed with leftover colors. And this is a custom color, it's just some leftover red and pink and coral and white. And this is some gold flash. I mentioned this, these are paint drippings. This is some leftover yellow. And this is um, some paint drippings with some white. So it's sort of a minty green color that would go well with this. I thought I'd create a pattern going in this direction to follow the flow of the pour. So you can either puddle your paint right on the canvas or just apply it directly to the balloon, which is what I usually do. So let's see what I want to do here. Put some white. A little drizzle of that, a little drizzle of everything. I'll just start in the middle. That's pretty. You can overlap or you can just go side by side. Usually you wipe it off when you um, are doing a wet application on a wet background, but since it's not muddy, I'll just continue drizzling some more on top. So this one I plan to embellish afterwards, um, like I did it with the others I showed you. You can do 
any order of colors. Just doing it randomly. enjoying this video please like and subscribe below show you the sponge you can even just dip it when you have the wet background you can just dip it I'll have to get a wet cloth and dry that off I think it works better when it's wet so I'm not going to continue when the background is wet That's pretty. You can re-dip and then apply it elsewhere.
this uh, dry and embellish it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe below.